I do my best. Hello, Joyce. Thanks for uh, meeting with me today. And also thanks for subscribing to my, my channel. Uh, I know it may sound uh, cliche, but I, I really do appreciate it. Uh, my little <laughs> following is a drop in the bucket compared to most people, but you know, I guess baby steps, you gotta start somewhere. So thanks for subscribing. <laughs> Um, Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> real, quick, real quick, followers. Uh, Joyce, actually, Joyce, how did you how did you find my uh, video? How did my video come across your your feed or whatever you call it? Well, I was I was looking up um, like like uh, how should I start my business or what what do I need to do? I'm you know I'm new at this, so I just need some guidance. And I happened to find your video on the, on YouTube. Did you? I mean, like, did you do a Google uh, YouTube search, or did I come across the feed when you were watching? Other you people? came across the. You just came across the feed. You know, when you scroll up, I, I oh. saw you. So I, I haven't seen her before. You know, and I, and I clicked on it, and I I like what I saw and heard it. Okay, good to hear. <laughs> uh, so Joyce has joined me today because Joyce uh, messaged me through the YouTube message feature with. Uh, questions. And I said, I think I said the questions were uh, detailed and thorough and it would take too long. You know how it is. It takes too long to type all that. So I offered Joyce mm -hmm. to uh, uh, participate in the Zoom session. And I'm basically uh, giving Joyce <laughs> uh, 30 minutes at this point, uh, free coaching, like I promised. And we're not going to make this a 30 minute video, though. It will be an eight minute video. Um, okay. So um, here we go, Joyce. I, here's what I do. And I do this. I do this for any subscriber. I actually offered this two months ago and only a few people probably watched that video because not many people have taken me up on it. Um, I offer coaching. Uh, my coaching sessions are very straightforward. I call them 30 minutes, $30, pay as you go, budget friendly. Any uh -huh. person who contacts me will get the first Actually, the way I have those set up, the first, um, I, I have to go back and check, but I think I said the first 20 minutes free so that I can get to know them. And I won't charge them just for like right now, we've been talking yeah. here for minutes and that's okay. not fair to charge somebody. And then if they thought, think uh, the coaching is for them, they can continue on with their first hour and any subsequent sessions. And uh, a number of people have contacted me about that. So I had to throw that plug in, mm -hmm. you know, why not? Uh, but anyway, Joyce has a set of <laughs> questions. I also will be taking some notes because I try to remember things that we talked about. And uh, your questions actually help me as well because it helps me think of new videos or videos to post mm -hmm. that people are yeah of, or re engineer videos that other people have posted because uh, they didn't tell the story the same way. So go ahead, Joyce. Um, fire with the first question. Okay. Keep the timer on. My first question. My first about. question is. Like I want to get some business cards. Right. So, do, so do I have, need to have my name? Need to get a business license? Okay. And Let's start there. One question at a time. Uh, okay. No, you don't have to have a official business registered anywhere to get business cards. You can go on any site, Vista Print, and and I, I hope you're taking notes. You know, I'm, I'm taking notes. Vista Print or Zazzle. Z is in zebra. A Z Z L E. I think is how it's spelled. Uh, Vista Print is who I went with. I, I've, I've used them in the past. I used Zazzle recently, but I went back to Vista Print because they're just cheap. You get a big bulk of business cards. You can design it. They have uh, templates, uh -huh. templates already with colors and uh, borders that you can decide which one fits your personal style best and, des and design your own business card. And what I do, I'm going to give you guys, guys that are watching a flavor of how I teach uh, my, my uh, notary students. Um, I, I'm a window shopper. So I design my card or a, a flyer, whatever I'm working on, and I'll sleep on it because I want to make sure that's really what I want. And I may go back to it a couple of days and edit it because that way, you know, if there are no mistakes and then it's something that you're, um, that you have a connection to at that point. So, and they're not very expensive, by the way. So I window shop, kind of marinated a little bit. And then someone asked me, how did I come up with the name Country Notary? They thought that was catchy. It was just something that was in my head. I marinated <laughs> it. And so long story short, Vista Print, 
design your own card and uh, think about it. Think about what you want to call yourself. We'll talk about that next, even though you didn't ask me. And uh, and I think for, oh gosh, a whole bunch of cards, 500 business cards, or it's like $35. Mm -hmm. So it's well worth it. $35. Well worth it. And there's no funny, weird, you know, Mr. Print ads on the back. They're your cards. Um, Okay. Coming up, coming with up with your uh, business name. You call yourself uh, okay. So here's what I thought about, and I am, and I literally am country, as you can probably tell by my accent. But people who live here, we don't hear it. <laughs> but when I hear myself on the recording, of course, I hear my Texas accent. <laughs> um, I had, I tried to think of, of something first that no one else was, you, no one else used. And luckily, when I went to the county to register my DBA, answering your next question. When you come up with your name, the way it works in Texas, our local county clerk office is where you register your DBA doing business as name. And I, I registered my DBA with the county clerk. I think it cost it $25. No one was in line. It took 15 minutes and they hand you an envelope with your DBA. They do a little search to see if anyone else in the county is using that name. So I thought about, of course, notary, what kind of sounded appropriate. I serve a number of counties in Southeast Texas and country notary made sense. I kind of thought about it for a while. And actually, even before that, I had another little business that I was thinking about opening. And, and I used, I, I was thinking of the same thing, country, and I can't remember what the second part of it was. So I kind of just stuck with that. And it was catchy. You can call yourself anything you want, as long as someone else doesn't all, already have that name. And even if they do, okay. you can change the spelling up like I did with, with K and country, because technically, they're mm -hmm. but you don't want to be too similar to someone else where when they Google search the other person, you when they Google search, yes. they click on the other person exactly. So yes. DBA, and then I'm still in the process of uh, regist registering my LLC. That's been a real journey, um, just for an update. And I will, I'm actually going to end this video, but this has only been four minutes shortly after we talk about business names, because at the beginning of the summer, I posted videos of me uh, registering for my LLC, okay? Pro mm -hmm. tip number two, pro tip, Joyce and other new notaries, patience. You have to be very patient as a business owner. You have to be very patient because at the beginning, my daughter is a notary as well, by the way. She actually told me about the business. And we both <laughs> had the same experiences, not just because we're in Texas. I think it's just becoming an entrepreneur type luck. Everything we've done, we've had to do at least twice. At least okay. twice. Okay. I, you name it. Uh, anything like even when I applied for my NNA certificate, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm wondering what's taking so long. <laughs> so I called them and they're like, oh, yes, ma'am, you were approved. I'm like, well, why didn't y'all tell me? It, it was always some little glitch or everything's twice. Yeah. I applied for my yeah. I applied for my LLC early June. As it turns out, the state was converting to an online site. So my whole mail, I did a whole video on it. Mailing the mail thingy. By the time I realized they weren't, I called them. Oh, well, we don't use that system anymore. You have to apply online. So I applied online. Then I had two applications. I had to call them and cancel the mail application. They did that. Mm -hmm. And they emailed me <laughs> about four days later. Mind you, they never emailed me and told me that I filled out, you know, the mail, the paper form was no longer being used. They called me about four days later and said, oh, by the way, you filled out the wrong online form. You should have used form 205. Okay, so that's <laughs> number two. Then I filled out form 205. You, you connect your credit card. They don't charge you in Texas until your LLC is approved. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Now it's been about hmm, three weeks. I literally called them yesterday and the I, I went on this online system. I didn't see a pending any status. And the representative tells me, we don't have an application on uh, right. what? So that's number three. So I just took a deep breath because I, you know, I said, okay, I'm just going to wait. On Monday, I'm going to start from scratch and apply again. And hopefully, literally, they say it only takes in Texas four to seven business days. I should have had it by now. But long story short, patience. And because you just some... Things are outside of your control. Okay, so um, registering your DBA with the county and then applying for an LLC with your state. By the way, you probably told me what state you're from, but I don't remember. Maryland. Arkansas. 
Arkansas. Wow, I was way off. Arkansas. I have another student in Arkansas. Yes, let's go Arkansas Razorbacks all day. Okay, so what's your next question? So when did you apply for um, LLC? You need again? both of them? So say it again. When, when do you apply for the LLC? Do I need a DBA and, and LLC? Technically, I don't think you do, but I applied for the DBA and I'm glad mm -hmm. just without knowing, and it was just $25. So I'm like, so, you know, no big deal. But when I went to the county, I asked the clerk, I said, so does by me, uh, but this was before I applied for my LLC. So I asked her, so by me applying for this DBA with this name, does this register like my name with the whole state and or the whole state and prevent someone else from using this name? And she goes, no, it only, it's only effective in Jefferson County where we live. I said, okay, great, which was good information. And she said the reverse was also true just because I registered my LLC with the state of Texas. It really doesn't prevent someone from taking your name um, because the, the state or the county, the, the, I'm sorry, the county doesn't check that. You know what I mean? So let's say someone else in the state of Texas applied as country notary. Well, Jefferson County would never know. So, it, no, let me start over. Oh, um, okay, that's what you mean. I, I get the it. State, but the county doesn't cross reference with the state. So if someone came to the county and applied with the same name, they could have gotten it. So now that I'm registered with both, it prevents someone from my, my county from taking the name. So anyway, $25 was a uh, worthwhile investment. And uh, Okay. I also, on that note, even with just with the DBA, just with the DBA, I can still open a business checking account if I choose to and apply for business credit with the, the DBA, which I found out through other research. So even without the LLC, because some people don't want to become an LLC, it's not required. I know that's one of your questions. It's not required. Some people don't want it for whatever reasons they don't, but the DBA still gives you some of the same benefits of, no gives you certain benefits of being a business owner, using that name on a checking account and business address, et cetera. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. One more question uh, for our viewers and make this video a little short, then I'm gonna stop the recording and we'll finish our session. Okay. Okay. I want to also ask you like, like to sign up on signing services. Uh, like for my profile, I don't have any experience. Okay, great. So how great. do I, how do I get the profile to look good? Great. And this is a great question. Let me ask you, uh, Joyce, how long have you been commissioned? Uh, since uh, June this okay. year. And you also emailed, in your email said that you passed the uh, NNA's I, course. Um, yeah, I passed the, yeah, the certification course. And then I also passed the LSS Yes, that's course. right. Yeah. About how long ago was that? Um, I did that, I believe, in um, July. Okay, great. Okay, so mm -hmm. you're brand new, like literally zero experience, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, thank you for that question. I am going to create a video on that topic. Profiles, okay? E uh, how effective... Uh, Effective profiles, I, you know, I'll think of a good title <laughs> because what I did, and we'll talk more about this uh, after I end this short video. By the way, guys, if you haven't already done so, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I watch a lot of videos, I've done a lot of reading, NNA articles, blogs, countless, countless, countless YouTube videos, and from months, it's only been seven months, actually, August now and currently is my eighth month, we have put together information that I think has helped me get more uh, signings, put together information about how to build my uh, signing service profiles from researching, mm -hmm. taking um, advice from other YouTubers, you know, notaries, and just trial mm -hmm. and error, trial and error, you know, building a profile, hearing crickets. Okay, maybe I'll make this like <laughs> that, I, that, you know, this particular um, trainer mentioned. And, you know, if, if, so basically once my business started to grow regularly and signing services started to call me directly, I, I figured yes. my profile must be good because they literally, yeah. <laughs> I, and, I'm, and I have about two minutes, I have zero 
local direct signing services, zero. I've called every title company, I'm sorry, title companies in my entire region, 60 mile radius, uh -huh. zero of them work directly with mobile notaries. All 100% of them oh. sign their loans in-house. I have zero local hmm. direct clients. So by saying this, all of my business comes from my profiles, obviously. And now it just happened to have grown to the point where they literally call me without, it is the most wonderful feeling in the world when you get that when the phone ring in this California, Florida, New York, because I used to not answer yeah. all this, you know, spammers. Uh -huh. And it's, they're calling you direct. And so my direct business comes from all the other states. And I have to think that if my profile was bad, odd, I wouldn't be getting those calls. So we're going to talk about building a good notary profile and signing services uh, for the next uh, topic. And I will create a video on that topic for my viewers. I'm going to end this video. Thank you, Joyce. Um, stay on. I'm going to okay. end this video. Thank you uh, for watching this video, guys. Please like or subscribe to my channel. My contact information is in the description of this video. Y'all have a great day.